Triple Force Friday is almost upon us. To prepare, LEGO sent me some of their brand new Star Wars sets to build. I've been a LEGO fan my entire life, so I'm always incredibly grateful to work with them. Today we're looking at the new Millennium Falcon set from The Rise of Skywalker. It's a pretty involved and detailed set, coming in at 1,351 pieces. It took me just under three hours to build from start to finish. Included are seven minifigures. Finn's got his new look, and he's giving off some big Indiana Jones energy with that satchel. Chewie comes with his bowcaster, which can actually fire. Lando has a cane, a very interesting looking blaster rifle, and a cape with a popped collar that I find to be hilarious. C-3PO looks pretty standard, he doesn't have an extra head with red eyes or anything. Dio is basically just a solid piece that can't move, he's just too small. And R2-D2 makes an appearance, and technically this is the best look we've had at him for Episode 9 so far. And finally, we have Bulio. We know absolutely nothing about this character except for now his name. The set looks great from the outside, but of course you can open it all up and it's basically a playset inside. You've got a little kitchen, some beds, the hollow chest table, a swiveling chair, which is all neat, but you can also put a couple minifigures inside the dorsal and ventral blaster cannon chairs. And of course, the build itself is a lot of fun. It's cool in these bigger sets, slowly seeing it come together from this simple frame, and sometimes you're putting something together and you have no idea what component it's for, and then it all comes together and makes sense. I love that stuff. I especially thought the engines were a creative and efficient use of LEGO bricks. The top panels that open up were also a lot of fun to build, and I was pretty blown away by how they kept it all looking so seamless. This new Millennium Falcon will be available as part of Triple Force Friday on October 4th alongside more LEGO sets for the Rise of Skywalker and the Mandalorian, including the Resistance A-Wing and Y-Wing, the Pasana Speeder Chase, Kylo Ren's Shuttle, and more. I can definitely give this one my seal of approval, and now it's got a spot up on the shelf. Let me know which LEGO sets you're most looking forward to picking up in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.